it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I am here in DeVernon, Illinois at Hilda's. Hilda's Antique Mall. It's so interesting. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find and we are along Route 66 apparently. I'm actually not sure because I'm very bad at directions but there's a sign that says it. I assume that we are. But we're gonna go inside here and see what we can find at Hilda's. Hilda's with a heart. I don't even know, does it go like, I guess it goes over there. I don't, there says Knickerbobs over there. <laughs> that might be something else. Wow, it's like a whole compound of antiques here. Hilda's compound. Okay, I just walked in. This place is large. That is really pretty. Look at that, it's like peppermint. Doesn't that just get you ready for Christmas? You know, first we need to get to fall, but $8, that is beautiful. I really like that. Yeah, like I said, this place is quite large. So we go that way. It goes all the way down that way. And then it also goes that way. And that's all in this one building. So oh, what is that? Lion Boy Ashtray. Oh my goodness gracious. Made in Japan. It's a lusterware little ashtray there. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking and let you know when I find something. Okay, this is interesting. So I actually have sold this before and it's interesting that I find it here because it's not a very common piece, but it is this ship. And they have $17 on it. Oh, does this say as is? This is as is. What's the problem with you? Is that just a little flea bite? There's a couple of flea bites right on the edge, but it's nothing really that bad. One thing about this booth is they are 20% off uh, with cash or check, but 15% off with the card. And that's what I've got. I'm a, I'm a card user. So it looks like all the big parts about this are good. Maybe just a couple little flea bites on the edge there, the little rim. But this is a cool piece and, it's, and it does have some age to it. It might be for aftershave or something along those lines. But it's, yes, it's an antique milk glass. Now that is actually a good deal. I just noticed this swung vase for $28. I'm a sucker for blue and I do like swung vases. And so basically what I'm saying is if I got one, it would be this one because $28 is cheap. I think I'm going to get it no, no matter what and then decide if I want to, if I want to keep it. So it's either going to be, I keep it or Barb wants it. One of the two, but $28 seriously, that's such a good deal. I just noticed these Lucite candlestick holders in the same booth that that swung vase was in. Problem is there's no price on them. So I'm gonna go see if they can figure that out, but they have the gold fleck, that kind of coppery fleck color in there. Let's see what, if, if, they can, if they can figure the price out, I'm gonna get them if they're a good deal. Okay, they're gonna check on those candlestick holders, but look at these. They're, they're like these Art Nouveau vases and it's a really pretty green color and a blue color. I'm not gonna buy them. I'm just wanting to show them to you because they're cool. So they have them as Czechoslovakia glass and there's a Malachite color or Jadeite or, wait, what? I thought Malachite was a green color. I'm confused by these, Malachite or Jadeite color. Well, I would, hmm, anyway, they're beautiful. Look at these little things. They remind me of the glitter houses or the putz houses. $4.50 each says green bird with sparkles ornament. Isn't that cool, that green one? And there's like a little witch. I think that's a witch. I don't know what she is. She has pipe cleaners for arms and um, some girly G-U-R-L-E-Y candles. There's this little angel, the, that one, and those candlesticks. And then cake toppers are down there, Halloween. That is a wizard brand. Um, air freshener. I know that because I have a few of them in my collection. There, it's wax. And then here's another like little one here, 750. That's not bad either if you collect Halloween, vintage Halloween. There's a good assortment of booths here with varying styles, but mostly nice antique things. And a lot of them I'm noticing are on sale. Here's a really pretty luster. They call that a luster vase, and it's. Uh, Bohemian or Czechoslovakia. It's a cranberry piece. Very nice. They would come in pairs normally. 230 for that one right there. 
There's a little hobnail, that's pretty too. I like that one a lot. 45, it has a good translucent quality to it. It's cased, white on the outside, blue on the inside. Oh, little, little um, trains. These are, they don't say the scale. I'm thinking they're in, N scale. Most common are HO scale. Okay, so I heard back about the candlesticks, the Lucite ones, and she knew that they were Lucite, so she said 18. I went ahead and passed for that. Some people don't know that, you know, that that is popular. That is a very pretty Roseville hanging basket. Look at that. Look how nice you look. That was 145 if you're curious on the price. 20%. Yeah, see another another sale. Here's a couple of McCoy planters. Brown. It says brown or purple. They don't know. It's 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 brown. It's brown. Happy squirrel with his nut. And then there's this little guy. It's an elf with a booty in the air. I actually have that one already, so I should probably sell the one I've got. I have 18 on that one. Quilts. Well, I have so far two things up at the register. The swung vase and that, um, the, the ship, the milk glass ship. <gasps> oh, that's such a shame. Those are flamingos, but they're the wrong color. <laughs> no. Why would you do that? Why would anybody decide to paint them that color? Who made these? These are California originals, which is even worse, darn it. Because if those were the right color, I'd be all over that. California originals, oh goodness gracious. Oh my, my, my. I just don't want this color, 25. So it looks like they're 25 each. It's beautiful. If you're the non-discerning type and you don't care what color your flamingos are, have at it, but I'm a traditionalist. I like pink flamingos. Look at the seahorses. See, that's not the right color either, but 15 for the pair. Are these chalk or are they, what are they? Yeah, these are chalk. That's not bad. I wish they were a different color though. What is that? It's a beach. That's that wood pulp stuff. It's kind of like a composite material, like a plastic, paper, not really paper, it's just a, it's a composite. Sort of like Sirocco wood. Okay. Well, that's a shame, those darn flamingos being the wrong color. Here's some milk glass shakers. These are antique, by the way. Eight dollars. Wait a minute, you get them all? If you get them all, I'll get them all. No, you don't get them all. You have to pay extra for this. Seven fifty for the big one. I would have bought all of them if they could, but nope, nope. Here's a rain shaker with deco lines. Just a single for five. That's not too bad, really. Not too bad. Okay, and then they've got some 70s stuff going on over there. 70s colors. Nice, nice, doing good things. Okay, let's keep looking. I see lots of glassware over here, Fenton, and what else we wonder, hmm. <gasps> look, look at this. That is a cool looking Fenton bunny right there. $27, that's an egg cup. Good old egg cup. Ooh, look at the Fostoria heirloom in the green. I don't often see it in the green. Let's see back there, back there. That's nice. <gasps> the pineapple. Look at that pineapple. It's a bookend, I guess. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> Look, it's another B set. It's missing the fourth one. If it had the fourth one, I'd pay $15 for that. It's in the blue. Mm. There's some really pretty things going on over here. Some Bavaria China service back there. Ooh, that's a nice swan. Duncan Miller, they're saying. Nice, nice, nice. And then there's lots more Fenton over here. 
those are Rose Lane. We've got a little cat and a little cat. I was gonna say a dog and a cat, but it, they're cats. It's just, it's locked. We can't even bother. The price looks like, oh wow, $8. $8 for that cat. If the other one's also eight, I'll get them both. Well, let's look at what else is in here and then we'll go get the proof. <gasps> look at that, that's antique milk glass in the middle there. It says Victorian milk glass butter dish. That could be Dithridge. I don't think it's consolidated glass. I'm thinking Dithridge maybe because of all of the, how ornament, how in ornamental it is. I like these trees. Those are adorable. The fact that they're in different color or um, sizes is really awesome. Okay. Oh, look at the Fenton Fairy Lamp. I almost missed it. And that has the ever elusive insert. You, you have to have that insert. The it's the clear piece in the middle. That's what you could put your wax in or your candle. So that's nice. And then these are bone plates, these half crescent moon shape. That's tr traditionally what they would be for, for your like fish bones. Okay. Illinois is back into masks, so that's why I'm wearing one. Um, it's the law. So, the, okay, the two cats, one of them was $8, and then the other one was $12. The blue one was $12. I went ahead and did them. Why not? He came all this way. Ooh, those are pretty. <gasps> the frogs and the owls. Now, those are cool. Those are Wade's whimsies back there. I don't ever see this frog. Or turtle. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was only two dollars. Now that is special. Should I get that? Why in the world am I doing something like this? Should... <laughs> two dollars. But there's the fish tank pieces down there. Oh, there's another turtle. I just think that's adorable. So these are Wade's Whimsies out of England. I'm gonna get it, whatever. <laughs> I just, even if I don't sell it, I, why do I want it? I don't know. It's one of those days. If I just want it for myself or whatever. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. That's cute. Oh, and this little thing. Okay. We'll keep going. So, oh, there's more frogs and things. Look at that pixie. Oh, I'll get that. As long as it's a good shape. Looks like it is. I'll pay $10 for that. Look at him. Do you see him? That's something special. We gotta have that. Okay. I did not even look at any of the things in here or the prices. All I saw was 50% off sale. Okay. Now let's see if it's one of those booths that prices everything double <laughs> to make up for it. Moon and star. Okay. Actually... Twelve fifty for this is good. Now we gotta make sure there's no chips or cracks. So this is the moon and star. It's an open console bowl pedestal. It looks good. You look good, kid. I think. Yeah, I'll get that for twelve fifty. The red is nice. It's amberina, by the way. The way that it goes from amber to red. So that's. We did good there, so that was nice. There's a sandwich glass in that amber. Here, we'll just make it look good again, there. And this whale would be like, whoa, okay. So it's 24.50, so half of that would be 12 something. The color is nice. There's controlled bubbles on the inside of it too. So I'm just like, and it's signed. I think I will get that one. It's really pretty. Well, if you're a fan of precious moments, my goodness, and snow babies, wow, it's like a department store. Oh, and Department 56 is here too. This is very cool. So if this is your alley, I mean, if this is your jam, whatever the saying is, then come shop this alley. It's like an alley. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they got all of the, and then the Inesco cherished teddies and the all these things. Oh my goodness, the snow bunnies for days. Oh, and look, I think over there, for, there's your precious moments. 
over there. Oh my gosh. And then there's Hummels up there. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is something else. Someone has a problem. I mean, the fact that they have so many, that's the problem. Wow, oh look at these shades. Now these are nice. I really enjoy that one back there with the speckles on it. That is nice. They have that it's a Czechoslovakia style. It is, it's sort of like an end of day glass. Very nice. I just did a video on a whole bunch of lamps like this, Art Nouveau, Art Deco. So if you haven't, if you have, a, if you like stuff like this, I have a dedicated video because it's awesome. Look at this parrot bridge lamp. That is neat. 210. Very, very nice. The shades on these would be cloth normally, like that. And they had different forms too. Um, sometimes they would have diffusers as well, glass diffusers, which I don't see any glass diffusers around here, but they're like the milk glass ones that look just sort of like a mid-century batter bowl, you know, for mixing. Okay, that is a really awesome dish right there. It is a Viking orange candy dish. I really like the shape of it. I might get that. Oh my goodness. I mean, $30 is up there, but I think that it's worth a lot more. It has this really cool geometric, you know, I have to get that. I do. Hilda. Where's Hilda when you need her? Hilda, I gotta tell that Hilda that I just need. Oh look, it's um that's nice. That's the uranium glass and it is for your bedside table. You put water in it and um the glass is actually the lid. So it's known as a bottom no, it's upside or it's a oh goodness gracious, I can't I'm getting my terms mixed up. It's a tumble up. I think it's called tumble up um, glass pitcher set, whatever, but 23, very nice. I'm going to get this $30 thing. Yes, I am. You wait and see. So I need number 12. I need to get Hilda's attention. The truth is Hilda is not here. I don't even know if it's a real person. There's a guy though. Ooh, those are very cool. They're like, I think they're fire king, the, the cups back there. $8 each. I like that colorway. The yellow with the white. That's something you don't see. I've seen them in pink. Pink fade up to white. Textiles. Oh yeah, look at that shade. You're fun. This is a really cool mall. Like I said, a great assortment of items. What is that? Oh, I can't forget. I already forgot what number that was. 12? Was it 12? I better take care of it right now because this is not going to fly. $12, or 12 items, or case number 12. Oh, there's more of these lamps. They're just stunning. I bought one. I just bought one. <gasps> that is beautiful. Look at this. Look, look at you. Now that is beautiful what it's doing. Look at this one too. This is 600, but look at the design on the inside of that. You just gotta go look at my other video because it's awesome if you're if you like stuff like this. And it's not just lamps, so don't worry. Don't you worry. Oh yeah, case number 12. That's a really pretty Weller bowl. It's a nice open console. They have about 30 bucks on it. I always like this colorway. The purple and the or the pink and the blue. It's very nice. And Weller, I really enjoy Weller pottery. Weller, Roseville, Van Briggle. They just, they just feel nice in the hand. Look at me. That's the sign for money. Somebody knew I was coming. Footed egg. That's for me. That's for me. That's for Jeffrey. Oh, except it's broken. I don't buy broken eggs. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to my eggs. How about this one? This egg is ten dollars. Well, if it's a little dirty, I gotta wipe you down, but as long as there's nothing wrong with it, I'll buy that egg. Yeah. Okay. 
pink, pink egg. Oh, we must not forget the purple one. That's an Esco, or is it an Esco? Or, no, it's an Arco. Ah, uh, drats. I dropped the, come here. $10, I'll buy it. I like that it's purple flowers. Purple is something you don't really see. That's a nice 10 back there. I wonder if it's old. I have a feeling it's not. You know what? I don't, I, I shouldn't even look at it because I know it's not, but let's look at it anyway. It's not old at all. It's from like the, what do you want to guess? Like the 80s? You know why I know? Well, the metal isn't right, but this color is not right for sure. It should be like a, like a, like a silvery gray color. It's just, the graphics are not right. Anyway, ooh, train stuff up there. And before anybody says, oh, get it for Aaron, Aaron doesn't want any more things like this. He's actually very content with his layout the way it is, so. It's not, it's not like I could just buy whatever. Ooh, I love these vintage things. The pails. And, uh, yeah, those are good. People like those. They surely do. They do. They love them. $20 for that one. Little clamshell. Ooh, glassware department. This is pretty orange. $9. You're lovely. Should I buy that? Yes. Okay. Put my egg in it. How much is my strawberry? <laughs> it's my strawberry. I love how everything's mine. No, it's so it's seven. That's not bad, really. You want to hear something funny? It's not funny. Do you want to hear something interesting? Well, so this is Hazel Atlas. And they also made apples. And there is a booth in here. I didn't show it, but somebody had the apple. And they had $30 on the apple. That's uh, not going to happen. And they actually, they had two of them. And they had $30 each on them. These sell for, at the most, about $15, $16. Same thing with the apples. They made pineapples, too. Pineapples are very rare. This is Empoli, Italian. And it has, they have 20 bucks on it. It's a good old size. It's a snifter, or a sniffer. Snifter. It's like the snifter wet jet. Um, cool. Oh, what am I doing? Come back into my hand. Can't leave it. T, 95, that middle one is everything. And that one there is everything else. And that one there is whatever's left. I love it. These tins are so pretty. I like my tins, my old tins. I don't like any, I don't like any tin. Ooh, look at this coffee holder. Now that is neat. Mm-hmm, and there's actually coffee, coffee grinders up there. Okay, so this is something different. It's basically an egg. It's a, like a blown egg. Then it comes with this little thing. You could just stick it right there and then everybody will know. So Killarney Crystal. Isn't that neat? This bowl here is, wait a minute, it's only $4.95. Is it broken? That should be antique. This is the, tr is it the Tree of Life pattern? I think it's the Tree of Life pattern. It's something about life, I think. I'm gonna pick up this no moth tin. I know it's something that's not glass or ceramic. These are lovely for Halloween. Wow, this is really awesome. I have to show them. So these are left in mermaids right here and they have 125 on them and that is actually a really good price. That's that's a good price for those. So we've got the left in mermaids. These are wall plaques, they are ceramic. And then Royal Bay Ruth, which is something that we just don't get to see a lot of. And this is a, one of their popular ones. It has the lobsters on it. But Royal Bay Ruth did a lot of really interesting pieces. Um, kind of gimmicky in some, time, some ways, but like there's a fish back there, for instance. <laughs> but they, they're pretty cool. Okay, I feel like a dummy. I almost completely missed these. I, would, I was walking back through the shop, and here they are. Oh my goodness, the little ones are $30. That's, that's too much for me. 
How much is this little guy? 40. This one is actually the one that I'm interested in right here. It's 65. I'm not sure who did this one, but I like it a lot. I don't know if it's Maddox of California. That is everything. Oh my gosh. It's stunning. So $65. I will buy it. I'm going to check it over though. Okay. This is hilarious. Look, another flamingo item. This is... It is so interesting. So you've got like these pagodas, these Asian pagodas in the background, like cherry blossoms or whatever those are, and then flamingos. <laughs> it is a 10, and this is Holland. It's a Holland 10 for $20. I wish it was cheaper. I would have thought. I've no, I didn't know, even know this existed. Very cool. Okay, I think we're about to go check out. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. And they still need a wrap it all. They still got a wrap it all. Luckily, there's coffee up there, I noticed. And I could use some. Surely it could. There's a um, Bavaria dresser girl. She is 78. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so I just finished up here at the antique mall. And I did really good. I'm really excited about it. Hilda, you outdid yourself. Hilda outdid herself again. Well, this is the first time she's ever outdid herself for me. <laughs> um, so we're, I'm gonna wrap it up. I did, I found some really cool things here. The swung vase, awesome. And the flamingo, wow. Just so many really nice things. A lot of glassware, obviously, but that's great. So I will wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You got to subscribe. It's imperative. All right.